What's up guys, War here, welcome back to another leveling build. Today we are going to be going over my Sorcerer Lightning build for Diablo 3 at the start. These leveling builds that we're doing, we're doing one for each class as well as an end game build for each class, which I'm really, really excited about. All of these are just basically a template for you to level up with the character through the game. Now, obviously, all of this is amount to change and stuff that you guys want. So first and foremost, let's go over two things. There's going to be a um, Google Doc sheet down in the description below, guys, for you to show you how to level your character and what skills to take as you continue to level up. And then with our aspects, you guys see that we don't have a lot here. This is gonna be only codexes that you can get. These are legendary uh, affixes that you can get from completing dungeons. And then you get the powers on the lowest um, quantity. So like with Lightning Spear, you're gonna get 11 instead of 20%, but that's okay. You're guaranteed to get this power as opposed to waiting for a legendary one to drop. So that's why we only have three here. Um, we did skip out on any basic ones, but these are ones that are gonna really help uh, the build just in general to kind of streamline it a little bit better. So let's go over the skill tree, guys, and just kind of break down this build. Um, I want to, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to my community, the same warriors of my YouTube channel. Uh, and during the stream, we have been doing a lot of leveling builds and theory crafting together. So a big shout out to them for helping me put these builds together. So uh, let's get into the skill tree and just kind of break down everything that you guys need to know for this build. So Sorcerer Lightning. Okay, everybody knows that Chain Lightning matched with Hydra's was really, really powerful, um, but Hydra's got a big nerf, so we had to change the build slightly from the beta, and I think this is something that's really, really cool and powerful. We're still going to be doing some burning things along with just being a pure Chain Lightning build, and I think this is super, super fun. Um, so, let's get into this. Uh, we are doing Arc Lash. Uh, we took Arc Lash over Spark because... We are running flame shield in this build and we're going to just be really up close and personal which yes i know is going to be pretty like different and ironic for the sorcerer you really just don't want to be too up close to personal because there's not too many defensives and the sorcerers are you know ra ra rather fat flagile flagile fragile so uh we're taking arc lash though so this is going to be able to hit more enemies up close and personal than spark um, and it's going to be such a bigger AOE, we're going to hit multiple enemies at the same time, which is the reason we're taking Arc Lash. However, this build still works perfectly fine, guys, if you want to take Spark down to Glinting Spark for the increased critical strike chance. I normally like Spark, but Arc Lash in this particular build is just better. So we're taking Arc Lash all the way down um, to Glinting Arc Lash. The Enhance is going to allow you on a crit to hit a swipe additional time. Then we're doing glinting arc lash, which hitting a stunned enemy with arc lash reduces our cooldowns, which is very, very important. Um, next, we're going to talk about firebolt here in a second, but let's go down to the rest of the tree here. So we're doing chain lightning. Of course, everybody knows that chain lightning is super, super powerful and arguably the best uh, core skill besides ice shards, in my opinion. Although I really do enjoy fireball. It's just a cool spell, but ice shards and chain lightning is definitely the best so we got five points in chain lightning down to enhance for the crit chance and then we have greater chain lightning i find it in very rare cases that you're ever going to take destructive for crackling crackling i think is just a it's just not a good enough mechanic with this to really pop off there may be some builds out there that can do it but there's no reason why you would never take not take greater chain lightning because each time it bounces off of you you get 10 percent increased damage which is huge uh, then we're going to have one point in Devastation for more mana, but we're taking it mainly for Elemental Dominance. So we get uh, Core Skills deal more damage, but uh, while they're above 50 mana. So this is huge. We're going to try to always have a big enough mana sustain to be able to have this going. Then we took one point in Potent Warning or Warding because we want a little bit more defensive. Uh, like I said, Sorcerers are Fragile, so this is just going to help us with some all resist against enemies. This is a really cool um, ability. We're only putting one point in it, though. Next, we have our defensive skills. There's a lot going on here, so we're going to talk about uh, some of them. We'll talk about Ice Armor as well as Firebolt because these are our two enhancements. But we're taking Frost Nova. There's rarely a build with the Sorceress so far that I can tell where you're not going to take Frost Nova. This is just a giant AoE that's going to freeze everything, reduce our cooldown, and then it makes enemies vulnerable, as well as making a boss vulnerable for six seconds, which is huge. You pop this, you're going to hit them with Chain Lightning and just blow them to pieces. So there's no reason to not ever take Frost Nova in almost any build. We got three points in Elemental Attunement for more critical strikes to help reset our cooldown. 
we got three points into glass cannon because we're going to take uh, do more damage but we are going to take more damage so that's why we have a lot of points going into some defensive abilities here next we have uh teleport teleport is going to be our movement skill in here i really want to have a movement skill for the sorcerer just to be able to bounce around you could even teleport in arc lash things and then blow everything up after frost nova with chain lightning and it's just great so we take teleport down to uh shimmering teleport which is going to give us 30 percent more damage reduction for five seconds which is just huge it just helps us stay alive even more now the the big the big change here i really enjoy this and me and my community really agree on this and i think it's just something different which is the reason why we're running flame shield so flame shield is gonna engulf us in flames for two seconds and we're gonna burn all of our surrounding enemies which is another reason why we're taking arc lashes we're gonna be up close and personal this is gonna be a in your face chain lightning build which i think is just super cool uh normally with sorcerer you like to kind of just be back in the mid game and just kind of fire stuff from a distance but i like to be fast and just be, get up close and just destroy stuff so we're taking flame shield um, we get more movement speed, and then we have mana cost reduction on all of our skills when Flame Shield is active. So this is really cool for two seconds. I really hope that there's a way to um, increase the amount of time, because 0.3 seconds isn't a lot, or 0.54 seconds isn't a lot when it comes to like putting points into this. So maybe there's a power that we can increase the time that we're in Flame Shield. Then we go down, and we're going to grab Lightning Spear. During the beta, guys, Lightning Spear is a very, very strong build to help us deal with bosses. Yes, I know Chain Lightning is going to be really good and just kind of do everything, but you can launch one of these god Lightning Spears at the boss. You throw it at him, it's going to have the cooldown, and then you just blast them away with Chain Lightning. So we're taking Lightning Spear all the way down to Invoked Lightning Spear. It's going to stun the enemy when we crit, which is really good. It just helps us out. Next, we have a uh, line with the elements for a little bit more damage reduction. So what this does is we gain 1% damage reduction against elites for each second we haven't been hit by them, up to 40%. So as soon as we get hit from an elite, this resets and the timer starts again. So we start back at 1% until we get hit again. So with all of our stuns and freezing, even against elites and or bosses, being able to have high mobility with this is going to just help for more damage reduction as the fights go on. Then we got two points in mana shield so every time we spend 100 mana we gain 10 percent damage reduction just more survivability so then we're going to take two points into protection or into protection using a cooldown grants us 20 percent of our maximum life as a barrier this is just more defense uh in this build because we're just trying to be as tanky as possible so next we are going to come down and we are going to take inner flames pyromancy skills deal um three percent increased damages uh, while we're healthy this is irrelevant this isn't going to really do as much for us we just took it so we can get to devouring blaze we deal 30 percent increased critical strike damage against burning enemies which is always going to happen okay and then if they're immobilized this bonus increases to 75 percent next we are taking fiery sheer or fires i was going to say shield fiery surge so next we are taking fiery surge killing a burning enemy increases our mana regeneration by 30 percent so again we have flame shield to burn but let's talk about firebolt so firebolt itself burns but we're not putting this on our bar we are taking that in our enhancement slot because direct damage from skills applies burning so as we are attacking with arc slash chain lightning uh lightning spear all of our attacks are going to apply burning damage so they're all going to be burning and we're going to have 30 percent mana regeneration when we kill a burning enemy this is gigantic this is so huge this makes this build very very powerful we're going to be able to spam chain lightning like crazy next we have endless pry or pyre uh, dealing increased damage is just this is just a little bit more damage but we used it to get down to warmth this is going to be our only measure of sustain um, besides potions guys there's not really a way to sustain with a sorcerer i mean yes we have a lot of defensive buffs here but this is the only sustain so every one second we heal 0.9 percent of our maximum life for each nearby burning enemy so in mobs we're going to heal a crap ton and then our healing is increased to 1.8 from bosses so this is just really really good to keep us alive next we're taking cursing or coursing currents hitting enemies with shock skills increases our crit chance we always want to be trying to crit then we have electrocution enemies deal 15 percent less damage for five seconds when they're critically struck by a shock skill 
So we're gonna try to have as much critical strike as possible so this damage reduction always applies, which will help our survivability even more, okay? Now down here on our, um, on our like special bar, all of these are really, really cool. I definitely looked at some of the burning stuff here, but because we're gonna be so up close and personal, Veer's mastery is definitely the better choice. Yes, close enemies, I mean, we gotta be pretty close, but with Arc Lash, we're going to try to be. But close enemies take 10% increased critical damage um, from our 10% increased damage from our shock skills, and they deal 20% less damage to us. And then crits increase this by 25%. So now the enemies will take 35% increased damage, and then we take uh, 45 less damage from them um, when we crit. This is just a really cool mechanic. It's just kind of passive. It really does help us out. Now, our other enhancement. Uh, skill is going to be ice armor so ice armor is really good we kind of looked at a lot of stuff here and i really had trouble deciding we could do arc lash for more stun chain lightning for more um chain lightnings if we spend 100 mana um even lightning spear but we're not doing the crackling stuff fireball is also always really good and then firewall is also really good to apply burning but since we since we have firebolt we don't really need any of that so i opted in for ice armor so when we get hit, we have a 5% chance to apply ice armor, which is why we have one single point in ice armor. Now, I do want to note here, guys, with Firebolt as well as ice armor for your enchantments or any enchantments, if you choose different ones, you have to have a point in them or you can get them from gear. So if you have like a yellow or a legendary that says plus one rank in Firebolt, you can just automatically have this in the enchantment slot and then you can take the point off this and put it into something else. But until you get that, you do have to have the point in the actual skill for the enchantment to work. Okay, so we have ice armor here. This is just going to give us more defense. It gives us a barrier, which is really cool. It just helps us with some um, sustain and staying alive. So those are our two enchantments. So now let's look at our uh, aspects here. So again, we talked about in the beginning of the video, we have aspects that are only codexes right now. And we, we kind of stayed away from like the basic ones of like, hey, you deal... You know, every time you get hit by an elite, you create a bubble and you can just stand on it. A lot of these are going to be pretty standard as you continue to level up until you find other legendaries. But until then, these are codexes that are going to help this particular build. So we're doing Aspect of the Umbral. We restore primary resource when we crowd control an enemy, which is going to be pretty often with Frost Nova as well as stunning them with our lightning skills. Then each time Chain Lightning bounces off you, we gain mana, which is huge. And then we have aspect of the splintering energy lightning spear has a chance to spawn an additional one when we cast it this is so cool especially against bosses throwing two of these at a boss with high mana is just super super strong now there is one other skill that we're going to add to this guys there's a big issue with the u uh or at least this program in the ui so i'm going to show you what it is it is the um no it's not this one let me go to the ring we go to the ring so we have uh the incendiary aspect lucky hit burning damage has up to a five percent ten percent chance to restore 10 mana this is an additional one that we are going to add but the problem is is that some of these say uh ring oh it looks like they got updated to ring so you're only going to be able to have two of these so just pick the two that you get the first like whichever two you get first just pick those but until then, we're going to take Aspect of the Umbral and Recharging Aspect. These two, I think, to me, are just the best because we're always going to crowd control and we're always going to be bouncing chain lighting. Uh, down into the gems because this is a new feature that was added. The gem slots here are just to represent what you would take in any of your weapons, any of your armor pieces, and then your jewelry pieces. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to be taking skulls in each one, um, but just as a baseline this is kind of what that means so in our jewelry we're going to take more armor in all of our uh, gear pieces we're going to take more life so that way we can stay alive and then in our weapon slots we're taking sapphire so our critical strike damage to crowd control enemies we get a higher percent so that's why these are here or at least i believe that's why these are here that's how i'm understanding it let me know down in the comments if that if i'm wrong about that but that's how i'm interpreting this so that is the build guys i really do hope you guys enjoy it i think it's really really different i'm really excited to use flame shield as well as lightning spear i think this build is going to be super super strong and just something different than hydras i really like hydras and we had this before but you know now with the huge nerf i think it's too much of a nerf um if you use hydras in this build 
like this. Like you could even maybe drop flame shield and put hydras in if you really wanted to to add more burning. Um, or just use it a little differently, but I think with the nerf hydras, it's just too much. Um, but that's the build, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below. What do you guys think about the Sork Lightning build and what changes you would make to it, if at all, or some other stuff or opinions that you guys have about it? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.